In a previous tutorial, we learned about the special characteristics of a PN junction. If we add one more section of a semiconductor material to a PN junction, we have a bipolar junction transistor, or BGAT. We can add a section of N-type semiconductor to create an NPN transistor, or we can add a section of P-type semiconductor to form a PNP transistor. A three-layer combination of N-type and P-type semiconductor results in a three-terminal device that allows a small current flowing through the base terminal to regulate a larger current flowing between the emitter and collector terminals. In an NPN transistor, the controlling current flows from the base to the emitter, and the regulated current flows from the collector to the emitter. In a PNP transistor, the controlling current flows from the emitter to the base, and the regulated current flows from the emitter to the collector. As the name implies, a field effect transistor, or FET, uses an electric field to regulate current. So a FET allows a small voltage to regulate a large current, while a BJT allows a small current to regulate a large current. A field effect transistor consists of two doped semiconductor regions that are separated by a channel, and a voltage is applied to the device in such a way as to alter the current carrying properties of the channel. The terminals separated by the channel are called the source and the drain, and the gate is the terminal to which the controlling voltage is applied. Though this diagram helps to introduce general FET operation, it is actually depicting a relatively uncommon device called a junction field effect transistor, or JFET, but the majority of FETs are metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, or MOSFETs. A MOSFET has an insulating layer that separates the gate from the channel, and the current flowing through the channel can be regulated simply by applying a voltage. This diagram conveys the physical structure and basic operation of an N-channel MOSFET, also called an NMOS transistor. The majority carriers in an NMOS transistor are electrons, while a P-channel MOSFET or PMOS transistor has holes as majority carriers. Two heavily doped N-type regions are separated by a P-type channel. Let's assume that the source and the substrate are connected to ground. If the gate is also grounded, current cannot flow through the channel because a voltage applied to the drain results in a reverse biased PN junction. However, a positive voltage applied to the gate repels holes in the channel thus creating a depletion region and attracts electrons from the source and drain sections. If the voltage is sufficiently high, the channel will have enough mobile electrons to allow current to flow from drain to source when a voltage is applied to the drain. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.